today we're going to be doing a oil change and to start with you're going to need a couple items and tools. To start with you'll need a oil filter. You're going to be replacing that. You'll obviously need some oil. You should refer to your owner's manual to get the proper specs. Uh, 530 weight is normally a type of oil you use in the winter because it's easier to get a cold start from your car. Not that important. Um, for your oil drain plug, you'll need a socket wrench that has the proper size socket. Again, you can just try it out to find which one works best. It's kind of hard to say. Every pro will be different. You'll need a funnel to pour oil back into your engine and it also helps to drain your oil pan afterwards. Um, you will need a type of uh, filter wrench. Uh, this is the best type. It's actually made to take off oil filters, but if you don't have one of those, you can always go to a strap wrench. They don't work as good because they don't get as good as grip, but again, if worse comes to worse, you could probably just use one of those. And the absolute worst case scenario is you just get a flathead screwdriver and you just jam it into the, the filter and just crank her off. It should work. Um, don't blame me if it doesn't, but you'll also need some wheel chokes so the car doesn't slip back when the car is jacked up. Uh, drain pan, because you need the oil to go into somewhere. And then we'll also need some axle stands so the car sits up on the jack if you need a jacket. If you have a truck, there's a good chance it'll be high enough that you won't need to jack it. Just in case, good idea to have jack stands and of course a jack. Find a flat surface and crank the e-brake. Put the wheel chocks behind the back tires. If you don't have a floor jack, you can always just use your, the jack that comes with the car to change tires or whatnot. To find that, in most cars, you'll just lift up your back trunk cover, and then there should be a little set like this here that you'll just pull out, chilling on your spare tire, and uh, yeah, ready to go. So now we're going to jack up the car. Um, refer to your manual for the jacking points. If it doesn't have them, usually the frame rail on the side of the car is a good spot to jack your car up on. Now throw the jack stands underneath the car. Now you'll have to pop the hood. The lever is usually located under the dash in most cars. So now underneath the hood there will be a safety latch. Depending on your car, some go sideways, some go up, some go down, others go in. So just feel around. So once you have your car jacked up, a good practice to do is to just kind of throw yourself into the car a bit. Because if it was to fall off the stands, you obviously know it wasn't stable enough, and you might be a little bit pissed that the car's on the ground now, but at least you're not underneath it if it falls when you're underneath it. So, once you do that, you're going to want to go over here to your oil cap, and you want to unscrew it, take it off, and leave it there. And a good practice, too, is to get your funnel and put it here so you don't forget to fill up the car once you've drained the oil. So this is the oil drain pan, and as you can see, there is the bolt right up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our socket on there, and we're going to crack it open and off, and then the oil should drain out. So now we're going to break the nut open on the oil pan. We're using a breaker bar because uh, it's a little bit seized. This is your oil filter. Now get your wrench and take it off. Some cars like this Pontiac here utilize a special type of filter called a cartridge filter. This filter requires a special tool to remove it. In this case, it requires a 32 millimeter. <laughs> socket okay so now reinstall the drain bolt make sure it's uh, tightened down properly because you don't want to be leaking oil so make sure you put a bit of oil around the new filter it can either be used oil or the new oil you just bought okay so now make sure uh, you tighten the filter back on make sure it's snug because once again you don't want it to be leaking oil everywhere 
Now add your oil, checking the dipstick frequently to make sure you don't overfill. Uh, to check your oil level, it, just grab the top of your dipstick, it should say engine oil on it. Uh, grab her, pull it out, get a clean cloth, clean your dipstick off, then reinsert it back into the tube it just came out of, all the way down, and then pull her out again. So, I'm not sure if you can see, but right about there is where the level is, and that's right between the two, the full dot here and the, the low dot here. That's just pretty much right where you want it. Now put your dipstick back in dip shit. So put your oil cap back on and anything else you might have taken off and then close your hood. Waste oil into an old container and take it to a place that recycles used oil. Don't be an idiot and pour this stuff down the storm drain because it harm, harms the environment.